Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Here's your report on Yellowstone. Um, the only thing that's working, if you can call it working, is a static cam. It takes live shots supposedly every minute of Old Faithful. It's supposed to be every minute, but it's now been 14 minutes since they updated uh, the images. Um, what I do, let me pull this up over here. I go to Geyser Cam XYZ. And I type in uh, different numbers up here to get the, the current image of what's going on at Old Faithful. The steam coming up from Old Faithful has been going from white to uh, very discolored dirty, showing that, that there's an indication that different materials are being melted under the ground and coming up with the steam at times. Not all the time, but all the time. Old Faithful is no longer going off about every 90 minutes but has changed to about every 139 minutes being 49 minutes later than it normally erupts they call it old faithful because they used to be able to gauge within 10 minutes when the geyser would go off here is today's second eruption this occurred at 8 50 a.m this morning its very first eruption this morning as the sun came up was at 7.11 this morning. And here's an image that I captured from that web address that I showed you. This image here at 9.17 is just an example of how dirty the steam is coming up. And then you can kind of see it through the trees back over here. The live webcam, why isn't it working? They claim that the power source to the camera malfunctioned. It's been down for about a week now. I suspect this is my opinion, but as long as Old Faithful keeps showing that melted rock is coming up with the steam, they're not going to get the uh, live webcam up and running again. They don't want us to know that Old Faithful is not erupting, as it should be. Um, it's longer periods between the eruption and that there is melted materials coming up. So as long as Old Faithful keeps acting up, um, I believe that the live webcam will continue to be down. So the last static camera image was at 10.09 a.m. Now that would be mountain time. And I went forward one whole minute. Here you can see, um, yeah, nothing found. So I'm going to go through these stills that are supposed to be captured every minute starting at 9.18. We got 9.19. See how dirty that is? I can make that larger for you. See that? That was at 920 this morning. 921. Still looking pretty dirty. And you can see over here it looks dirty too. 922. It cleared up a little bit. Again, cleared up a little bit. But it's still dirty. Uh, 923. 924. 925. Uh, 925. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Again, look how dirty that is, and I'll make that bigger for you. All right, 930. 931. 32. 33. 34. Got dirty again. 35, still dirty. Missed a minute. Now we're at 937. So the camera stopped working, didn't record for the one minute. And we got 938. Let me go back. So we got 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. Notice there was a sudden gush there of hot steam that came up. 44. 45, 46, 946, 947, 948, 949, 950, 951, 952, 953. Oh, let me go back. So we got 954 here. It stopped recording. And jump to 
Okay, 10 o'clock. Ah, 10.02. 10.04. We missed another minute. It wasn't recorded. So, was there something in the picture they don't want us to see? Um, okay, 10.09. And, yeah, that's all I got. Let me try again. Still nothing. So, we won't know if Old Faithful's going to go off again between uh, 10.09 and it's currently uh, 10.33. Have they deliberately uh, left out the images showing that it didn't go off? The last eruption was just before 9 a.m. Mountain Time at 8.50 and we got 10.09 here. At um, 16.39 Universal Time, there was a series of three earthquakes, and they gradually got larger. Here you can see that, that I extracted from here. And we got Maple Creek at the top. We have Moose Creek, Idaho at the bottom. And the one in the middle is supposed to be the borehole for Yellowstone Lake. So here we have the spectrograms. This is the borehole for Yellowstone Lake on the left. Moose Creek, Idaho, those three earthquakes that came in in the middle and Maple Creek here on the side. Let me pull this over so you can see that and then I'll change it to the um, earthquakes and we'll do the same for this one which is Moose Creek, Idaho. You know there's some red that came up there. We'll go to the signature of the earthquakes not being reported. And all it showed up at um, the borehole was intrusion. You can see the intrusion. We do have some stuff up here. Let's go to the earthquake signatures. Now this is Yellowstone Lake. Oops. Now I've talked about in the past the area of Moose Creek, Idaho and Maple Creek. The last time Yellowstone had a major eruption, it did a counterclockwise eruption starting in this area here where we often see earthquake swarms. Now they do have an earthquake recently reported in 1837, a minus 0.2. And then another one, um, a 0 0.9 at 1836. Both of those were um, yesterday on the uh, 19th. Nothing being reported today. Here at Yellowstone Lake, they do have one marked in red, right there, right there, 37 minutes after midnight. So here we have the borehole for Yellowstone Lake, Moose Creek, Idaho, and Maple Creek. You notice too, we got a thickening of the lines up here. That means magma is on the move. Oh, we got some activity right there, it looks like. And let's go over here. Different times. Yeah, Yellowstone Lake's been kind of quiet lately. Um, we got a small quake there, small one there, small one there. Now, I did post on Twitter, I am on Twitter these two last eruptions and i know that usgs does follow me so did they all of a sudden find out that i'm uh, <laughs> going in and fudging with the numbers to uh, get the uh, current images and decide to shut it down um i don't know that might be a little ex extreme in conspiracy theories are they fudging with the power system going to uh, the uh, static images of the camera i don't know so I want to go to um, the tilt, showing if the ground is rising or dropping. This is the Norris Junction area. This is borehole 950 uh, for the last week. And remember, I talk about how lots of dots means lots of shaking. Top would be north, bottom would be east for the last seven days. And this is only one of five volcanoes around the world that they are monitoring which direction under the ground the magma is flowing, which happens to be east, and it's been doing that for quite a while. 
So we got the last 30 days. And you can see that lots of dots. And we got rising um, in the east. Okay. And then the uh, tilt meter. Each dot would be an earthquake in the last 30 days. And we'll go back up over here. Yeah, each dot would be an earthquake in the last seven days. The monitor for Grant Borehole 944. Now, this is a very deep well under the ground. And I've talked about for a long time how Grant has been showing lots of activities. And again, magma is moving east. Now, once again, Grant is on the eastern side of Yellowstone Lake. Here we got West Thumb. It would be kind of right down here. And the magma moving east. And I've talked about, yeah, that earthquake swarm we had down south about a month ago. I talked about um, two different cracks under the lake. One right along the edge here at West Thumb. The other one in the center of the lake going all the way down. Um, where the magma has been trying to come up. And we do have spreading. The lake is getting wider because of this intrusion of the magma, um, making the lakes, you know, rip apart, basically. Just like any volcano, magma wants to come up where the ground is the weakest. And there's been a spot here at Grant where it's been trying to come up for quite a while. USGS does realize this is a high threat area for the potential of a large earthquake. So this is all the earthquakes in the last seven days that have been recorded there at Grant. And we'll come down to the last 30 days. Magma moving east. Let's go back up over here. All right, the monitor for Yellowstone Lake, borehole 208. Top measures north, bottom measures east, last seven days. And then the last 30 days. Yeah, see how it's rising up in the east? Well, that's the direction that the magma is flowing under the ground. Madison River, borehole 207. You'll notice here on the 12th, it stopped recording. Top is north, bottom is east. Last seven days, last week, all the earthquakes. Yeah, they don't report them all, do they? Got a bit of shaking here. Uh, two, three, four, fifth. Looks like between the fourth and the fifth. Yeah, the ground took a, a jump, took a big breath, settled down. More data missing. And then the last 30 days, we got a dot way over here. And the magma is traveling east. And then if we go back to when they started recording. Um, what, July maybe of 2011? Yeah, we definitely have uplift. The ground is rising. Yeah, Madison River. Again, this is the area when Yellowstone had its last major eruption where the unzipping started. Borehole 205, data also missing. Top is north for the last seven days. Bottom is east. And it's been, I remember in my last report, I talked about how the magma is jumping around. Um, the older earthquakes in the last week would be the lighter color and the newer ones um, would be the darker color. Okay. And then the last 30 days. Look how much data is missing. Look at that. And dot, 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 dot. Last 30 days. But you really can't get an accurate picture of what's going on at Norris Junction with so much data missing. How can they monitor what's going on and give us any fair warning when the uh, monitors don't work or, or are shut down? All right, 1029. It does look like Old Faithful went out, off. We got um, hot steam coming up and water down here traveling from the dome. Okay, 1029, that's the first image they've shown since 1009. So, it has now lengthened to 179 minutes. So much for erupting every 
90 minutes, right? This is why I believe the camera has been shut down, the live web camera. It's currently 10.52. Let's see if I can get it to go forward at all. All right, let's try this. Okay, 10.39. We'll go ahead another minute. All right, 1040. And we'll go ahead another minute. All right, 1041. And we'll go ahead another minute. Takes me a minute to click on the Oops, see, not working. Yeah, 423, not working. That's the last image, 423. Let me try this again. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Yep, not working. Yep, so the last image they're showing now is 1041, and it's currently 1153. How much are the scientists and the geologists being paid every day or every week and every month uh, to monitor what's going on and they can't even keep the static cameras or the live web camera working this is the last image that they're showing and i'll click on it to see if it's going to work yep video file not found yeah evidently yeah well when they shut down the hotel and the camera's on top of one of the hotels um maybe someone mistakenly flipped the switch to the live web camera right the other static cameras are working. We got 1054, that's today, for the uh, west entrance. Uh, 1054, heading into the park, west entrance. And let's bring this down. Okay. Um, 1053, let me try, well, that's, let me try it again. All right, 1042, 1043, now they've got them up and showing them to us. 1044. 1045, I want to look at how dirty that is. 1046, 1047, 1048. Yeah, that's pretty dirty. And then it jumps to 1050. See, it was 1048. The next image they're giving us is 1050. 1051. Missing another image. This is 1053. I'll go back. See, 1051, and then it jumps to 1053. 1054 jumps to 1056 again. 54, 56. Yeah, 1055 image is missing. 1057. And what should be showing next would be 1058, but file not found. So, what are your thoughts? Uh, please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Um, like I said, I'm on Twitter. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.